Shalom. Following y'all sure. Welcome again to the rock. Society today is falling apart. And one of the things that I have noticed, especially amongst <laughs> younger people, um, people my age, younger, people that are poor or grew up poor, didn't have all the luxuries of life. And now it's even happening to people who have grown up with resources. Is people don't have purpose anymore. People don't have purpose. They don't have a vision. I know I've talked about this a lot, but I really want to make sure that we hit on this because people truly don't have purpose. As the world has changed, I believe the reason why you're seeing depression, <laughs> sin, all these crimes. I mean, you look at crime today and it's just shooting and skyrocketing. People walking in the stores and walking out with shit. Literally, just walking into a store and walking out with shit. People don't have a purpose anymore. You see, there used to be a time when family was the purpose. Family. But because of how everything has changed, family is no longer the purpose anymore. Women whose purpose used to be, you know, getting married. Biblically, you look in the Bible. Getting married, bringing forth children with their husband, pleasing their husband, growing old with their husband, the children being raised. There was purpose. Now it's going out and getting a job. And then eventually after they get their job and they're in their mid to late 30s, you know, when they tell you, well, my purpose is to get a good job and make money, they fall back onto what their true purpose is. And now they want to get married. And now they want to have a family, but they're 37, 40, 45 years old and pregnancy is high risk. And, and they spent their time, you know, uh, acquiring, you know, sin and, and, and living in their reproach. And now they want to get married. Men spend their time buying, you know, fancy this, fancy that, Jordans and all this other shit. And, and, and living frivolously with no purpose and then suddenly late 30s 40s they want to come out of her and buy land and they're stuck 30 year mortgage hundreds of thousand dollars in debt when i read the book i see i mean I, on top of the idea our purpose was to serve y'all keep the commandments we know that but I see it was a man's purpose, you know, leaving an inheritance for his children, having children, having sons, his name continuing, his name being good. Self-sufficiency, providing for himself and his family, not depending on systems. Freedom was the man's purpose. You look at the children of Israel and they constantly wanted their inheritance and they constantly wanted to serve their Yah outside of the confines of captivity. That's why they cried out for a deliverer in Egypt. They want to fulfill their purpose. And today there is no purpose. Most people today don't have one. Their purpose today is to get on the internet and, 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 and get attention, get likes from as many people as they can. And if they don't get enough, the anxiety sets. You see people today who will post 10, 15 times on Facebook. I mean, even five times on Facebook trying to get likes, trying to get somebody to like what I'm doing because they don't have a purpose. So their purpose now is to have people, as many people, like the shit that they're doing. Their purpose is to get attention. You see women today twerking all over the damn internet. I almost, I almost cussed. Cussed. They're twerking all over the internet. They're showing, you know, a, a women today just running around society looking for somebody to give them attention because that attention is validation. When it used to be, the purpose was your husband. You, you wanted his attention. Now it's not enough. You need to, you need to post that picture. You need, you know, uh, uh, John uh, Israel and 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 and. and child of the most high you want them to, to to like your picture when it used to be your husband when i look at sarah the bible says whose daughters ye were if you're not afraid sarah wanted her husband's attention and that was her focus that was her purpose in life 
today. Women's purpose is to get as many men to like them. And what happens is because you seek attention, you go out and you sleep around, you get your Pookie and your Ray Ray, your Jesus and your Guillermo, your Tom and your Brad. They give you all the attention that you want. You have some of their children and then the shit falls apart. Because you wanted attention, they gave it to you. And they slapped that ass, didn't they? And they put it on you, didn't they? They put it on you thick. And now, once again, that purpose comes back. I want to be married. But that wasn't your purpose when you were laying down, getting your back blown out, was it? Men, once you get an, 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 an absorbent amount of debt and you live that life of, 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 of trying to get some woman's attention, trying to... Uh, Look at my Jordans. Look at my, you know, thousand dollar this and thousand dollar that. But the one thing you ain't got is you ain't got no thousand dollar land. And you're stuck. Where you are. Not doing shit. Because no purpose. And now we have, I really truly believe a society that's falling apart because you have people with no purpose. They have no purpose in life. They have no direction. So then it comes the church. And the church comes in and tells you, oh, we'll give you purpose. We'll give you direction. And that purpose and direction is just to serve them. The military comes in. We'll give you purpose. We'll give you direction. And it's just to serve the military. Gangs come in. Oh, we'll give you purpose and we'll give you direction. And that purpose is simply and only to serve the gang. When y'all already gave us purpose, the, his book has wisdom all throughout of it. Serve y'all, keep the commandments. It's the whole duty of man. And in serving y'all, if you truly are living this book and serving y'all, you're going to understand the importance of your name and inheritance. Fellowship, strong brethren. Women, you would understand the purpose of getting married. Why that was our ancient women's purpose. Their purpose wasn't to... to, 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 to Memorize as many scriptures as they possibly could. Their purpose wasn't to try and recite Torah. Their purpose was simply laid out in the book. They understood that having a husband, raising a family, having it, it, it's in the book, ain't it? It's in Timothy, ain't it? They understood that that purpose of those things was them serving you. It was a protection and a help, and they could keep the commandments. See, people have lost their purpose. So I sit out here today and I grow my garden. Raised bed right here. After the bark it, it's another one we just got put in. I do this because I have a purpose. I don't fall into depression and uh, uh, overwhelming anxieties and fears. See, people talk about deliverance. You have to understand that if you followed your purpose, there would be no way for a lot of these attacks to happen on you. I got to go out and smoke weed. I got to go out and get drunk. I have to go out and post another picture of, of myself on Facebook and hope with somebody, hopefully I'll get 20 likes or 50 likes. And hopefully you wouldn't have to worry about that because you'd be fulfilling your purpose. And your husband would come to you and say, hey, baby, you look good. You look good. Hey, 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 put that outfit on. You know that one outfit? Yeah, the one outfit that if you weren't with your husband, you'd be... Uh, 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 posting that picture on Facebook, hoping that men like it. Yeah, that outfit. That outfit. Purpose. There are so many people, so many men, so many women that don't have purpose. So they're turning to other people that have purpose. And now their purpose is to get the people that actually have a purpose what they want and the whole time you're still not fulfilled which is exactly why when you leave these organizations when you leave these groups when you leave these gangs when you leave these ministries and churches when you leave the the the, the, the military I, I don't know how many brothers i talked to who are ex-military ex-gang members ex you know camp goers church goers you know i was part of this ministry this fellowship this church and they leave empty because they weren't fulfilling their purpose. They were fulfilling another person's purpose. But not their own. 
when you're fulfilling the purpose that the Most High has given, when you're fulfilling the direction and the vision that the Most High has given you, can't nobody change that. You don't ever feel inside of you that I have to resort to sin. I don't ever feel like I have to go buy a pair of Jordans. I don't ever feel like I have to put, you know, fancy ass rims on my car because my life is not about people liking. It's not about getting another like. It's not about getting another subscribe. It's not about any of that shit. It's about building the rock up. Building the rock. Becoming self-sufficient. Growing my food. Raising my family. Loving my children. Loving the sisters. Nurturing them. Cherishing them. Uh, 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 taking care of my goats. It's about that. It's about figuring out, hey, how am I going to grow enough food? How am I going to grow more food? How am I going to be able to, to, in what way could I possibly get in another couple gardens so that if I have a brother that, or, uh, you know, that, that, that needs help or a sister, a stranger, an orphan, someone that falls on hard times, I could, I could give them some fresh vegetables. Bless you, brother. I don't want you to say, uh, uh, don't do no video. Don't go around telling everybody I did this for you. This is just between me and you. Bless you, brother. May it bless you in your household. May this food bless you in your household. Purpose. But we don't have a purpose anymore. We have too many young men, young women, older men, older women without a damn direction or purpose for their life. So their purpose becomes simply trying to, to meet that need for attention, to, to meet that need, to be liked, to have some. What most people don't understand is the most of the shit that you post, most of the shit that you do in life. It's simply for somebody else to say, good job. So many people today just want to belong to something that they fall for anything. And Satan is constantly, constantly uh, uh, seeking those who have no purpose. And many times those are the ones that go out and do some of the craziest shit. You see in people today, when you look at people who are suicidal, who, who lost their way, you're looking at people who have lost their purpose. Instead of our children growing up, knowing what to do and where to go, you see children today growing up. And at, at early ages, they're being told, well, if you're a boy and you don't want to be a boy anymore, go ahead and be a girl. That child's already lost their purpose. If you're a little girl, girl, go ahead and try to be a little boy. Lost their purpose. You got women running around. Well, my purpose is to, to, to live the lifestyle of a man. I ain't to make money. I ain't to be, you know, I, I ain't to have my name in the light. I want to I, I wanna be this. I want to be that. You see men today, I, wanna, I want the attention. I want, you know, look good. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want the, 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 the new shoes. And meanwhile, while you have all this, I'm not saying there's anything against, you know, having a nice pair of shoes or a nice car. But when that becomes your purpose, because all those things are for your attention, what you're basically saying is that I feel good when other people look at me and want what I have. That's the only way I feel good. I feel good only when people are envious of the shit that I have. When people want what I have, that's when I feel good. What is your damn purpose? I know what you're going to say. Everyone gives a classic answer. To, 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 to serve the, the Father. How's that working out for you? So let me tell you, unless you get back to how our ancients lived, you may not ever understand your real purpose. You may not ever understand what it is to raise your children outside of a system to, to have your children schooled at home to not have your children have to worry about or come home feeling like shit because they didn't have the newest backpack or the newest character or they didn't know who the newest cartoon character is or or they they gave the wrong answer in school or they addressed a, a, a child with the wrong goddamn pronoun yeah, for those of you, you use Yah's name in vain. Nah, you don't know what that verse means. If you dare try to come at me with that. You're not supposed to take his name in vain. Just as a little clue for those of you who don't understand what that means. Anytime that you put Yah's name to something. And he didn't tell you to do it. That's taking his name in vain. 
every time you sin and you claim that you are Israel or you claim that whatever, that's taking his name in vain because you're attaching his name to your action. People know you as Israel while you over here doing this shit. That's taking his name in vain. See, we're so far gone. We, 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 most don't have a direction or a vision or a purpose. So they're going to continue to wander around. And then once that depression hits at an all-time high, then they end up doing crazy shit. Then they end up running around. And, and, and that's why you see crime going up the way it is. That's why you see people acting the way they are. No purpose. Are you truly pursuing your purpose? Right now, you see that right there? That's another uh, ray, uh, compost bin I'm throwing up. I gotta put that, that last pallet up there. I continue to pursue my purpose. Because one of my purposes is self-sufficiency for me and my family. To make sure that they have the food that they need. That they can eat, that they can stay warm. That they are happy that my children are schooled and educated truly about what's going on in this world. That they know who they are. So as we watch a society fall apart, as we watch these cities go to shit with people who have no purpose because they're stuck and they're trapped in the reservation. And they realize later on in life that all they've been doing is doing what the man wanted them to do. I thank the Father that my children won't have to experience that. I thank the Father that the sisters ain't got to experience that. And I thank the Father that I no longer have to live that. What's your purpose? And are you truly, truly doing it? Or are you just following the purpose that somebody else gave you? Hoping that you'll one day deceive yourself enough to be happy with it. Bless you. So...